Darrell Jazz Johnson here with former New York Knicks legend, uh, NBA champion, Mr. Dick, Dr. Dick Barnett. Thank you. How are you doing today, doctor? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yes, I have to remember the doctor. You've worked far too hard for that distinction. No, no question about it. Exactly. So, Dr. Barnett, saw you at the uh, press conference yesterday uh, where Phil Jackson was announced as the uh, president of the team. What, what, what are your thoughts on your former teammate uh, accepting that position? Well, ho hopefully that's a indication that, as, as Phil indicated, that the, the, the culture uh, would change, particularly with, uh, obviously, with his capability of being successful throughout the years. And uh, perhaps that will be a indication and inspiration to uh, what might transpire here at, at, at the New York Knicks. Obviously, we, we know about the success that, that you and Phil had on the court, but what, is, what are some of your memories and thoughts of Phil off the court? Well, it, it was just like anything else. We were obviously younger, younger men and experiencing uh, all the, the great things in, in this metropolitan area and being successful on, on, on the court in New York and uh, receiving the, uh, the adulation of the New York fans, which has really lasted for 40 years uh, to, to a great extent. And I, and I think uh, what has transpired is that because we were so successful, you know, that's been mi missing during that period of time. And hopefully that's what they have brought uh, uh, Phil back to uh, reconnect with that era. What, what kind of message do you think it sends to the to the NBA when when Phil Jackson comes here as the head of the organization? <laughs> well, I, well, hopefully it sends a message that uh, New York is going to be more uh, competitive in, in the future and it, it's really going to put a more serious contender together the way we used to be. All right, final question. T tell us about the work that you're that you're currently doing. No, I, I run a center called uh, Sportscope. To, research and study of athletes and sports in American society. I spent a great deal of time speaking to athletes about emotional and psychological disengagement, how they leave the game and be prepared to move on and be su successful citizens. Yeah, well that, that sounds like uh, wonderful work that you're doing, work that's very much needed. Uh, so, so thank you for your time, uh, Dr. Barnett. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Very good.